now students see in our syllabus what we have to do we have to do mainly uniformly accelerated motion okay we have to derive the equation of motion how by graphical method we have to derive the equations of motion by graphical method i am sure that you are very well familiar with these equations which we are going to derive now look at the figure first very clearly in this figure in this figure let us suppose a body is moving in a straight line along x axis at the point o at the instant of time t is equal to 0 means the body is starting means body not body is starting body is in motion suppose but we are starting its time from t is equal to 0 i am starting noting the time now okay our time starts now here the speed or the all means the velocity of the body is u is moving in a specific direction along x axis at the point p at the instant of time t its velocity is v it is moving with a uniform acceleration acceleration it's moving with a uniform acceleration fine this is the situation if i am asked if i am asked to draw a graph for this situation how we shall draw the graph it will be like this velocity time graph at time t is equal to 0 look at time t is equal to 0 v is equal to u from here the body starts at the instant of time t its velocity is v is equal to v the situation look at the situation this is i hope all of you are agreed fine what will happen i want to find out the slope as i told you slope of the graph of this graph definitely i will drop a perpendicular on this let us say it is a here here a b let us say this is c okay this is d and this is e look at the points here e then what will be acceleration slope is equal to a acceleration a that is equal to b by a b e by a e what is b e it is b d minus e d b d minus e d by it is time t i hope all of you are agreed divided by this a e is equal to this much it is time t so we can say a is equal to a is equal to what is b d b d is v and what is e d obviously u by t which implies v minus u is equal to at or v is equal to u plus at i write as i told you you are familiar with these equations from graphical method we got the first equation all right now now see one more thing i just tell you regarding this velocity diagram the area under the velocity time graph gives the displacement covered ठीक है एरिया अंडर वेलोसिटी टाइम ग्राफ व्हाट इज दिस इट गिव्स द इट गिव्स द इट इज द डिस्प्लेसमेंट कवर्ड इट गिव्स द वैल्यू ऑफ द डिस्प्लेसमेंट कवर्ड इट इज द इट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ इट एरिया अंडर द ग्राफ व्हाट इज दिस एरिया अंडर द ग्राफ डिस्प्लेसमेंट कवर्ड एस is equal to area under the graph is area of trapezium trapezium which one o a b d o a b d can we say area under the velocity time graph is giving us the displacement covered s what is this area under the trapezium what is this area under the trapezium means area of of rectangle rectangle which one o a e d o a e d plus area of triangle a e b a e b right then how much you are getting s is equal to 
here area of the rectangle rectangle means it is oa oa into od oa into od plus half area of the triangle ae into be ae into be e agreed ae into be now now we can write here in red now we have we have just see this one here be is equal to how much be is equal to is equal to small a into ae so s is equal to s is equal to oa in portion of oa oa is how much u oa is u and od is t plus half here a and can i write a e whole square and what is a a is equal to t so we can write s is equal to u t plus half a t square i write here 2 here i write as a e is equal to o d is equal to t two equations we got that is v is equal to u plus a t velocity time relation and displacement time relation we have already got now now you can get one more thing also that is one more thing you can get look you can get now finally now s is equal to area of trapezium again i am going to that point o a b d that is equal to what is the area of the trapezium half o a plus b d into into here o d could you understand because area of the trapezium is half into sum of the two parallel sides into the height look at this oa plus bd all right i can very easily write here what is od look od od is what od is here od is equal to ae right now i hope my dear students here here od is equal to ae is equal to again you go here a that is equal to that is equal to a is equal to can i write this is bd minus ed okay look by a what is this is it equal to v minus u by a so from here s is equal to how much half what is oa is it u plus v into v minus v minus u by a that is equal to v square minus u square by twice a all right which gives us v square is equal to u square plus twice a yes i hope very easily you can get it look all these three equations i am getting equation number one two and three these three are very important equations these are the equations for uniformly accelerated motion all right in our next lecture we shall discuss something more all right so by graphical method we have derived these equations these equations have been derived by the graphical method but mind this we have to derive these equations with the help of the calculus i think in within one or two classes i will start calculus i have to first give you the reference to calculus what is calculus what is differentiation what is integration then we shall use it to find out the equation of motion that will be the most standard method obviously these equations are also asked in the examination this method is also asked but calculus method is the most important method that will be a bit new for you we shall discuss it okay thank you